guys, Chris here from CKM Car Design. Today I'm helping out a customer to modify his steering wheel to retrofit the new one and some wood trim instead of the aluminium trim. So we we'll start with the left uh, trim piece and we'll just use a plastic wedge to pop it out. And the new one just clicks in place, just like that. And the left one is done. And a little final touch. For the centerpiece we need no tools. Uh, this one you just pry up. Now we remove the front trim to get to the front of this one. And don't uh, forget the cable connector. And now just lift it in the front and it pops out. And uh, this trim you just uh, pull towards yourself and it uh, clicks off. And now to install the new trim, you just push it into the clicks. And uh, this trim is uh, pretty straightforward. Push it down in front and it clicks in place. Don't forget the connector. Same with this one, it just clicks in place. And you're actually done. With a little buff. Here is a before and after comparison. This one on the right side is actually super easy. Just use the plastic wedge and it pops out. And the new one just clicks in place. And the same with the small one. Plastic wedge and it pops out. And uh, now to the door panels. First of all you have to uh, remove this aluminium trim. And a wedge for the speaker cover. Torx 20 for this metal cover plate. Two uh, 25 Torx. And this is the panel wedge. Just uh, push it in and it pops up. the cover and do a 25 torx and the uh, same with the handle 25 torx after removing the cover and these uh, lock washers is what uh, keeps the wood in place just take a small screwdriver and pry them off you can reuse the old ones but uh, the new ones are very cheap so I would recommend that here they are all removed, so now you can just remove the panel and then install the new one in the reverse order. And 
here we have both the long piece and the short piece in place on the panel. And now we do the wood trims for the rear panels. First you pry off this uh, rubber seal. And now for a very special trick to unlock the lower part of the panel, you take this hook and you pull this little plastic thing out. There you go. And now the lower part is unlocked. Turn the socket. And uh, here we use the 25 Torx. And this I just pull out so I can move around the panel a little bit more freely. And now the rest of the panel just snaps off. And now detach the cable connector so you can move it freely. And these again. Now for the steering wheel retrofit of the 2016 steering wheel. Here we use the Torx from the rear to close on the airbag. And now you take out the connectors. And as I said in the previous video, remember to disconnect the battery before you take out these connectors so you don't get any error messages. And here I just uh, take a picture of the alignment. I think that's the easiest way to remember exactly where it's supposed to be when you install the new one. And now we just pull this one straight out and disconnect the connector. And then we install the new one in the reverse order. And now that picture comes in handy when installing the new steering wheel. And now the airbag just kicks in place and just turn it on and look that all the features work. Here we just pry off the old rubber ones.
and to install the new ones it's actually much easier if you use anything like a soapy water or something to, to pry them off. And here's a very common mistake many do, they buy the standard gas pedal but uh, actually in most of the new cars you need the electronic gas pedal and uh, here's how we install that one. You use a socket 10 and just loosen this and loosen the connector and install in the reverse order. And here's a couple of shots of the finished result of all the mods I did this time. I really hope you liked this video and if you did please hit like and if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos please do subscribe. So till next time have a really good one.